So upon logging into the Merchant Portal, you're welcomed by the home page. This is going to show you at the very top here the today's overview. Again, since we're using a test store, there's not really qualitative data that's shown here. However, for you, when logging into your Merchant Portal, you should see total sales amount, total orders amount, and the average ticket volume. Additionally, under the Insights Actions here, this ties into the Insight tab over here. So we can see at the very top, you have the ability of filtering the sales by month, week, last week, or last month. Um, by changing this, it'll update the sales figure to give you just a quick insight overview. Um, additionally too, if you ever click any of these links here, you'll see it directs you to the sales tab or the operations quality tab shown under here. This is to give you a better insight as to how your store is performing on the DoorDash platform, maybe some goals and key metrics that you can work on to hit to improve um, how your performance is overall on the platform. Additionally too, if there are upcoming holidays, like right now this is being recorded just before Easter, if you come to the home screen when logging in, this may be a pop-up you do see. It's pretty much a proactive measure to help make sure that your store is set up to either be open or closed for an upcoming holiday. So if the store is expected to be open, you can click regular hours. If you anticipate that the store is going to be closed or maybe it's only going to be open for a partial amount of the day, you can always adjust by clicking the close or adjust store hours found here. So additionally too, if you have access to multiple stores, you can always click the drop down at the very top here by clicking the store name. Here you'll be able to see all the stores that you do have access to. If you only have access to one store, you would expect only one store would be appearing here. But in the event you do have access to multiple stores, this would be kind of a way to navigate through the stores to view different accounts within your merchant portal. Uh, in the next screen recording, we'll be covering majority of these tabs. So Hope all of this is helpful for you.